Right now, new at six, the car industry is facing a hurdle as the Fed's latest interest rate increase is pushing up the cost of a car loan. Those rates are going up to help fight inflation, but anyone in the market right now for a new car is going to have to pay the price. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera is showing us how dealerships are faring with all these changes tonight. Dennis. Mark, one we went to earlier says that it has been a slow month. It's hard to pinpoint exactly why that is, whether that it is uh, higher uh, tax rates or anything else. But they are hard to ignore, especially when getting a car loan. Now, we also did talk to an economist earlier. He says that these higher rates likely are going to put the car industry in a bind. There's still a bit of selection at Stephen Toyota in Bristol. I do have some inventory available. I have quite a few used cars available as well. But it's been a little slower getting people to come through the lot. Could be a little bit of the interest rates being raised. Could be folks trying to get away and enjoy vacation that they haven't enjoyed in the last couple of years. Uh, but it's definitely been a little quieter this, this particular month. On Wednesday, the Fed raised interest rates another three quarters of a point. That means the benchmark rate is between 2.25 and 2.5% rate hikes that are hard to ignore on car loans. You're seeing a, a difference of a point and a half, two points, uh, depending on how long you're taking the term out for and how much you're looking to borrow. But there's no question there's been an uptick. Chris Ball is an associate economics professor at Quinnipiac University. He says we're likely seeing the beginning of the impact now. You'll see a drop off in demand for new cars first. Um, and at the same time, they're just coming over there. Um, supply chain problems, getting microprocessors and chips into those cars. So it's going to be a rough, let's say, year for all of those car industries for sure. Potentially getting out of those supply chain issues is the silver lining for dealerships right now. We're heading towards the bottom, I believe, in terms of inventory. I think fall and early winter, we're going to get back to a little bit of normalcy in terms of uh, supply. Chris Ball adds it helps there are tax incentives in making uh, it more attractive to buy electric and hybrid cars, new or used. We're live in Hartford, Dennis Valera, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.